Google has just released their upgrade to the very popular Nano Banana and this is an amazing upgrade and it gives you so much more than what the original Nano Banana gave you. And the best platform to access this, in my opinion, is through Hicksfield because it's totally unlimited. Hicksfield gives you unlimited use of 4K Nano Banana Pro for one year if you subscribe before November 28th. And <laughs> this is in my opinion the best platform because you can also use it through google flow or google studio but it's heavily censored and a lot of the times when you input a prompt it's just going to give you an error and it's not going to generate any images whereas with Higgsfield, it generates whatever you ask it to do and these are some of the use cases that you can do and it's as simple as for instance if you want to generate graphics for either your video or clients all you need to do now is literally just prompt can you give me a graph for this report and you just link to a website or a PDF document, okay? This is an entire PDF document and it's talking about how YouTube is overtaking traditional TV networks and look, it creates a graph and you can reprompt it and again, rather than give him a big long PDF, you can reprompt this and say, well, give me the graph for a much more specific uh, link or URL and it will take the information from the URL and give you a graph. This is absolutely insane. Perfect text, no spelling issues and it takes the reference date. This is amazing and again you reprompt this and you can be a little bit more specific like if you just want a very specific section of a text so for instance you will copy this and paste it here I say give me a graph for this report and you literally just paste that you hit generate and it gives you this which is amazing this will take you so long to do up until just now and again you can reprompt this and says well now give me a pie graph of the same text there you go bam and it gives you this this is <laughs> so helpful and another thing that you can do is you can say for instance give me a graphic poster about the subject matter which is about why youtube is taking over and again you paste the text and look at what Higgsfield generates this is an amazing poster to do this using graphics it would take you so long and again it tells you where is sourcing this data this is amazing you can put this anywhere it looks so good i mean look youtube is now 14 percent. you get this arrow going up all of them are going out the bbc is still at the top but it's shrinking i mean this is insane you literally can take just the product and just prompt can you place this rs4 in a production studio image with a nice abstract background and create the LED lighting behind can you add a canon camera and a lens onto it so that it looks realistic remember that this is the base image just the gimbal and look what it generates this is an amazing image and okay yeah the led you could reprompt this and make it look different this is just a very basic prompt as you read there but look at the image that you got again same image but you can then prompt it can you place this rs4 pro in a product studio image where it's held by someone against a nice abstract background and creative led lighting in the background canon camera lens to it look realistic cinematic highly stylish there is nothing else other than this image okay and look at what it generates this is <laughs> amazing he nailed the camera he nailed the lens the proportions they are perfect the proportions of the gimbal with the hands with the arms with the camera the cameras are connected the wires this is insane to do this shot it would be so difficult because to create this led effect in the background you need to play around with exposure and have some lights moving i mean this is such a difficult shot <laughs> It took literally 30 seconds to do. So let's say that you find an image that you like online, okay? And okay, yeah, we are gonna be taking images that has been created by someone, but we are going to change it. So you literally just prompt change and improve this image, keeping the items and equipment the same, make the gimbal black and make it so that it looks realistic. Bam, that's it. 
amazing. It changed the gimbal. Nobody would say now that this image is this one because the gimbal is in a totally different color and it looks so realistic, so well. But you can go even further. Look, you can take the same image that you just created, okay? Let's say that I don't want this because it looks too close to the original. Okay, so you just reprompt, change the background and place it in a film set with camera and crew behind. Keep the shallow depth of field. And look at this. <laughs> Amazing. So let's imagine that you like this image and this is from DJI's website is a marketing image. So it's been around a million times, but let's say that you like this image, add your own image. Okay. And just say, look, replace the person in this image with the image attached and bam, it creates that image. And okay, <laughs> it's 85% me, but it looks amazing. Look, that's the original image. And this is the new image. And okay, I've gave it a 16 by nine aspect ratio instead of three by two as this one is, but the results are absolutely insane. But let's say that you're not fully happy. Let's say that, well, I'm not quite happy with the results of this wide shot. You can then recreate and add a much tighter shot, okay? And look at the results that I got. That is a lot more accurate. That <laughs> looks insane and again has taken everything from this image but it has added me there and it looks amazing let's say that you are into formula one cars for instance okay so look look at this one this is absolutely amazing this is the base image and i prompt generate a shot of the person in the photo inside the formula one car dressed in a formula one pilot suit and okay i wasn't very specific it was very vague so it's giving me the mercedes car with the mercedes outfit and you can see kind of a bit of a helmet behind but it nailed the face and okay it's aged me it's added about 15 or 20 years on top but look at the quality of the image so anyway i went off and i re-prompted this generate the shot of this person inside Inside a Formula One car dressed in Aston Martin Formula One uniform with no helmet on with Fernando Alonso also in Aston Martin uniform leaning to say something to me and it's able to generate famous people or celebrities because he has such a massive database that he can access so you don't really have to upload an image of fernando alonso look at the quality this is me okay that's me inside the garage of an aston martin with fernando alonso talking to me and the proportions are perfect and i went off and i said generate a shot of this person same image in the podium of las vegas formula one grand prix dressed in aston martin with Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz next to me. And look at this. This looks absolutely amazing. I do notice though that the images are a little bit too contrasty. The blacks are maybe a little bit too black, but the skin looks absolutely amazing. The proportions look amazing. That is me. I mean, okay, maybe not 100%, but about 95% there. Another one, okay? This is literally a prompt okay i haven't uploaded a reference image i just said generate me a product image of the recent black magic pixies or pixies 12k camera with cinema lenses and in a film set in the background shallow depth of field camera is the focus point or the attention point and look at this this looks absolutely amazing look at the text it, it nailed the text it nailed the text on the battery the dimensions look it's a cook a7 lens it nailed the logo the the text this is absolutely insane another one a shot of myself looking charming and smiling and hey generate a shot of me holding the fifa world cup next to leo messi and cristiano ronaldo all three dressed up in the national team's uniform and look at this this is amazing and this is back to what i said to you that these images are very high contrast okay very over sharpened you can probably unsharpen this and de-age 
uh, well, all three of us, Messi, Ronaldo, and myself. But look at the quality of this, another one. It generated a shot of this person holding the NBA title, dressed in the Celtics uniform next to Magic Johnson wearing the Lakers and Michael Jordan wearing the Bulls. Spot on, look at this, look at the text, Bulls, Lakers, these are the uniforms. This is such an amazing quality. Another shot, this is basically saying a young woman is standing outside the Santiago Bernabeu match day between Real Madrid and Barcelona. She looks excited, full anticipation. And look at that. This is the fan zone. But look at the scarf. This is amazing. I mean, it nailed the text. Let me show you what I've got in the past with Mid Journey, for instance, where I originally generated these images. Look at the text. It's completely messed up. I could never get the text to say Real Madrid, okay? So the images look fantastic, but the scarf always looks an absolute mess. I could never get the text right, no matter what I tried, whether I prompted that the scarf had to say Real Madrid or not, I could never get it. With this, bam, got it there. Similar prompt, another image, and look at this, amazing. Look at the quality of the scarf, the text is spot on. Look at this one. You upload this image anywhere, nobody's gonna notice that this is AI. Obviously, people would notice right away because this is the old study. But look at the text on the t-shirts and the logos and everything has the right proportions. This is <laughs> such a massive improvement from the original. Another one, okay? So this is an image that I was never able to generate on Mid Journey or anywhere, okay? So I took an image that I had already generated within Mid Journey. So that's the original image. And I prompted a wide shot of this woman riding a mechanical bull inside a lovely pub, wearing a detailed cowboy costume, surrounded by people, and the bull is in the middle of the bar. Look at this. This is amazing. And of course, you can probably refine the prompting and get something that is a lot more stylized and you can add cinematic wording and all of that. But look at the quality. This is another one because I wasn't very happy with the fact that you could see the legs there and it kind of looks like a bull there and it just doesn't look realistic. So I reprompted the same thing, but I basically said the bull has no legs and then it nailed the fact that it's a mechanical bull and then you got this kind of uh, cushion ring that usually you have around. And obviously this is something that is very American and you can prompt this much more accurately but it gives you a sense of realism. This is amazing. Another one, for instance, I want this image that I had originally generated in Mid Journey, and I basically now prompt and say, place the camera behind her and give me a shot from behind. Bam, done. And as you know, this was very difficult to do with the original Nano Banana because what it would do is it would literally just spin the person. It would take the reference image, as you can see here, and it would literally just spin the person, but it would keep the same frame. But now it actually places the camera behind. This is so, so good for creating scenes. And again, based on the same prompt, you can say, well, give me eight different shots from different angles in a grid. And look at this. Now you can choose different angles and the consistency, the character consistency is so good. Look, it's generated the white shot, is added the feet, the pants, is consistent with the shot on the top and different shots on the profile. I mean, this is so good. And if you want to learn about AI avatars and how to get the best out of creating content with AI avatars, I have this course called AI Avatar Creator Lab that it gives you everything that you need to create absolutely amazing content using AI avatars that look realistic. This is now added the new Santiago Bernabeu and the stadium obviously doesn't have the right proportions but we can then prompt this and say the new remodel Santiago Bernabeu Stadium in Madrid make sure the correct proportions are displayed on match day, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Unlimited, and then hit 2K. Nano Banana Pro gives you the ability to do 1K, 2K, or 4K images. And 
you want 2K because there is no need to go on 4K for every single image. It takes too long to create. You just want to render your images, prompt, reprompt, edit as you please, and then only upscale the images that you like. And this is the re-render image. And okay, it doesn't quite look right. I want to bring the stadium here. Okay, so that's the stadium. So I'm just going to save this image and we bring that and now we generate this and let's see what we get because i think now that we bring the additional image of the santiago bernabeu is gonna be able to give the right proportions and look at this and as you can clearly see there is some construction element there and it's probably to do with the actual image that I gave, there you see, you see that? So that's taken an image from somewhere there and you can clearly see if this image was the actual finished stadium, you wouldn't have that, you would have the finished stadium. This looks <laughs> so, so good. And look, if you want video, this is as simple as click the video and then select the model that you want. Let's say that we select uh, VO 3.1 fast, okay? And we're gonna say, woman at the Bernabeu Stadium, Stadium match day between Real Madrid and Barcelona. Crowds going wild. Sports atmosphere. Just like that, simple prompting. I'm sure I could spend a little bit more time getting the right prompt and adding a bit more finesse to it. But I'm doing this quickly for you guys. And we are just going to do eight seconds. Why not? And we're just going to generate. Let's go. Let's go. nothing appears in the frame out of nowhere. Hala Madrid! Let's go! We are the champions! Come on! No scarf appears in the frame out of nowhere. Oh my god, that looks so freaking good. <laughs> and you can clearly see it's all about the prompting, but did you see how quickly we went from an image to a video that looks so realistic? And I really hope that you liked this video, that you found it interesting. If you did, like it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It's really nice to see the numbers going up and I will see you in the next one.